Well, new changes put some Medicaid patients in Arkansas with disabilities at risk of losing their doctors. Yeah, these changes are causing confusion and concern for some in the community. 4029's Jamie Weiss joins us live from Fayetteville. Jamie, who's being impacted? Well, Craig and Paige, parents of patients at Northwest Arkansas Pediatrics received this letter in the mail this week, letting them know that the office does not have a contract with PASS. That means children in the PASS program will no longer be able to be treated by the doctors here beginning May 1st. If this is going to de deny my daughter the care she needs, uh, I will. I will go to war for my child. Candace McCaskill and her daughter Elizabeth are both on the autism spectrum. They are two of nearly 43,000 Arkansans selected by the Department of Human Services to participate in PASS, a program aimed at providing more resources for the disabled. I think it was definitely meant to help, but my daughter no longer qualifies as a regular Medicaid patient. None of the stuff that she, she's supposed to get all the same care, but clearly she can't. And that seems to me to be discriminating against her for being challenged. It's not right. Just like medical insurance, health care providers need to contract with PASS in order to alleviate payments for patients. At this time, Northwest Arkansas Pediatrics does not have one of those contracts. It's difficult as pediatricians. My job and my livelihood is based on me being able to take care of kids. That's what I've been trained to do. That's what I want to continue to do. And there's outside forces making it difficult for me to do that. There's barriers that are being put into place where I'm removed as their PCP. Families didn't volunteer for the program. And now they're just finding out about it. What makes it more complicated as of last week, I don't believe there's a family practice doctor or a pediatrician in Northwest Arkansas who has a contract with any of the past organizations to provide care. So there will be no access for these families unless something changes May 1st. That's, that's really frightening especially since we have to start all of these new therapies and those all require a uh, letter of referral from your from your physician they also require you know she has medications that she can't miss Northwest Arkansas Pediatrics will be hosting a town hall meeting next Tuesday, that's April 9th, to discuss the PASS program as well as provide some clarity on what next steps are for those in the community. We're live in Fayetteville tonight. I'm Jamie Weiss, 4029 News.